Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, welcome back YouTube algorithm. Thanks for listening to me again. And uh, last episode I left you here where we placed the bombs here. I talked a ton about 1917, which is a movie that you should watch. Um, I don't know if it won any Oscars. I'll pick it up next time. Um, I'll search for it. But right now what I did, I just like placed um, dynamite on these two, these three pillars holding these, this hill up because they digged it up, they, they dug it all up to make trenches and whatever and this guy was very specific because I couldn't toss him a bomb if he wasn't in the right spot. He couldn't just carry it like I do. So, But now everything is fine and boom. And this is what happened. Oh, okay, so I didn't destroy the entire thing, which is funny. I destroyed just part of it. Um, explosives. French fortifications require the use of explosives to penetrate enemy lines. Long tunnels were dug under no man's land. Yes, no man's land is the land between um, trenches. So there were the, 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 word, the, the lines of um, the Germans and the lines of the French and the lines of the British. And no man's land was the part in between those lines because they were trying to like conquer conquer territory. So no, man, no Man's Land is a horrible, horrible place. The movie really depicts that amazingly, and you should watch it to see how terrible No Man's Land is. No Man's Land also, as a fun fact, is um, I think an unofficial name for um, the tennis court where you're standing in between the service line and the baseline. So that's a terrible place to be in. Just like the trenches. Uh, not that, that well, the trenches are a terrible place to be in, but No Man's Land is like considerably worse. So, yeah. And they called no, Man, no Man's Land obviously because oh shoot, he sees me. I didn't remember that. That was. What am I supposed to do? Okay. Okay. Am I supposed to pick up space? Oh dang. Oh shoot, I got that real fast! <laughs> Despite essentially being in no man's land, he got that real fast. Okay, okay, okay so I'm, I'm playing. Oh, I have to cut the Bible. Yay! Hey Dogo, I free you. You friend now, we friend. Yeah, that's exactly what I would do. Sorry, I was really far from the mic now. That's exactly what I would do, that's what I said. You probably would hear it. <laughs> regardless um yep yeah. uh, oh oh okay I didn't know that I just like pressed space by accident or just kind of like was trying to do something yeah what's their goal now oh yeah like one is going for Germany and wants to destroy Germany and um, Emil is going for Carl who is in Germany and they're like joining forces because there's kind of like a common the never goal essentially. And counter hmm, well, that's here Freddy and story. Emil hunted the elusive Baron and his regiment in Ypres. I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I'm not demonetized anyways and I'm just gonna leave this here regardless of the copyright claim or not. I don't know if there's, I don't think there's any impact in the um, algorithm like sharing my video or whatever. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. Oh, the gas. On April 22nd, 1915, chlorine gas was used for the first time by the Germans. Biological war. <laughs> Horrifying thing, right? The, they touch on that in the movie a little bit. Oh, I can use my dogo. Um, so yeah, like I'm just going to leave the music, but next time, if I, if I actually do see that the copyright claim is being held against me again, I'm just going to have to mute the game or mute all of the, the, the song parts in the game and yeah uh, they'll, they'll have to be it so yeah there, let go. go go over there they'll go I don't know if this makes much sense but it's fine go, go, go. Emil is really brave man he's just like he just has this um, kitchen utensil zero 
anything, zero weapons, it's completely uncovered, no helmet, it's going to war. What am I supposed to do here? I gotta drop that over there? I don't know. Oh, I have to pick something up and what you got there, buddy? Oh, okay. What's up there now? Oh yeah, like new fun facts for y'all. Uh, let me just put it there. Let's see a little bit about Ypres, the, this battle, because uh, this is where we are right now. So Ypres was a key strategic town in Belgium. I thought it was in France. Excuse me. Spe especially for the British. It was the gateway uh, to the north and thus to Britain. Mmm, makes sense, eh? They're trying to protect their island territories, which was freaking key, essentially, in every single war that the British have ever fought in. But with the presence of now airplanes, they got into a little bit more trouble. But that's another story. Um, it was the gateway for another to the Britain. Canadian troops. Canadian troops. Hey, yay, yay, Canadians. Oh, man. Nothing to be proud of there, man. But, like, yeah. Props for um, Canadian veterans and uh, we remember even if not November um, deployed in the front line and they in the front line wow. and they proved their endurance and dependability in combat to the Allies 6,000 Canadian lives were lost in the battle in April 1915 we remember pay respect no no okay that's not what I want to do oh it was on Facebook wow what is happening? Oh, I was pressing again the wrong buttons. Okay. First gas attack. So yeah, pause here, pause here, and pause here. This guy was ringing mud on his face, right? Because the first gas cylinders clearly were open, but favorable winds. Wow, this sucks. Uh, burns to the eye, skin and lungs, even through clothes. Wow, and rubber. Wow, that was intense. That was intense. I did not know that. The only defense found by the Canadians was to cover their nose with a urine-soaked handkerchief. It's not mud, but it's equally gross, man. Yeah, um, Canadians had to. Wake up. And... I'm going to get up here, pick this up. Will I be able to do this at all? I guess. Um, maybe I need to, yeah. Come here, boy. I thought I needed a destroyer or something, but I was wrong. Yeah, I'm not going to drop down. So I don't switch between the mill and Freddy, or do I? Frick! <laughs> Maybe I do. <laughs> How do I switch? Oh, I see. Um, what am I supposed to do now? See, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna put it on one because it's... Yeah, Nito. This dog is really, really intelligent. Mm. It's not at all what I need to do. What am I doing? Oh, okay, I, I see it. It's up there, like things are moving. I guess this is part of what I need to do. Uh, actually, no, never mind. This is what I got. Oh, I don't know. Can I bring that thing over, over here? No, I cannot. I thought it was a. I thought it was like a cart that I could put it on the tracks. I cannot. Um. Oh, well, there you go. There, that's that's the cart I was looking for. And they keep using the tutorial here. It's like I can I come up here. Well, it doesn't show anymore. But like, show the show the arrow up. What's this? Urine-soaked cloth. 
The only difference is that we were right at that. We were directly in the handkerchief to form less noxious products, limiting the effects. It was not the most hygienic solution, but it was always better than a lung full of hydrochloric acid. Well, yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's life. It's not life, but it's, it's war. What am I saying? What's, what's happening? Is it this what I need? It's not what I need it. Is this, is it? Okay, this is it. Can this dog do anything? Oh, there was something here. Zeppelin bombardment. Hmm. <laughs> Count von Zeppelin, of course. But the first long distance flight didn't take place until 1908. Zeppelins were much lower than the aircraft appeared and were first used in the reconnaissance. In reconnaissance. Am I saying that right? They could also fly at higher altitudes, so from 1915 they were used to bomb civilians in London. Oh my gosh. This, this is humans right there, man. Like they can use technology for whatever reasons they want to. And I have. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, what I'm doing here. Out. Let's try out. What is this going to do? So, well, I, I certainly have to pick this and put it over there. I have a feeling I'm really low right now, like my audio, but I can always fix that in post. So it's not. It's not. So I do. Why are you doing this? Like, stop. Okay. Man, I quite literally don't know what to do. <laughs> Can I move this over here? Dogo, let's try some too. What? So that's the, the the game has like a nice puzzle, man. Like to be honest, like it's not it's not easy sometimes. Like I. I've struggled a few times with this game, but I always found the solution without looking up. So let's see if I can do this right now. I think I have to use this in order to fix that. And that's exactly what I needed to do. Is this it? I guess... Oh, and now there is a, a thing over there that I need to fix. Right? Oh, I think I actually needed a handset sequence. Oh, come on. Doug. One. Let's see what happens. Let's see what that does. Because I, I, I need to... Oh, I, I see. So that changes... Okay, there you go. Now you can close the circuit, in a sense, like close the uh, the path of the gas. Is that it? And now what? That's not what I need to do. Is there something over here? I don't think there is something on that side. What is there? Something to that side? No, there isn't. I wish there was like a run button, so that I could just go a little bit faster so I could explore, because... And I'm gonna have to pull this, push this. Dang, it feels really strong. I don't need help. Stop. And there we go. Try. Ah, oh, can I can't, you can't do it? Oh, come on. I kind of need help, but I I'm, I don't want to use it. I'm gonna use help. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I need to bang on something. Oh, me. This is blocking my way. 
Um, is this, is it this thing? Okay, there you go. That's what I needed to do. I was doing it Okay. I needed to destroy the machine, which I kind of felt like I, I figured that out. That I needed to do that, but... Eh. Impressive that he didn't get any of the chlorine, since he's in the closed in an enclosed space with the the entire machine pumping chlorine outside so yeah we need to move forward um let's try to keep doing this for a little while still and there's the zeppelin which is gonna bomb us and it's probably gonna show the, the shadows and the background wow whoa what's happening what am I supposed to? Ah! Okay, okay. That's what I needed. Oh, it was chlorine gas. It was not a bomb. Makes sense. And what? It, ugh, of course I cannot. I cannot use this. Okay. What? Okay. Yes. No. <laughs> Oh, he needs me to. Oh, so he didn't. He didn't come with me. Am I time bound this in this in this in this part? So I have. Uh, shoot, sorry, that was a thing here. Okay, so. Come on, dog, just do it. Okay. I can't believe that's <laughs> And oh yeah, so I can put the dog in here. So what I'm gonna have to dog out. I can carry you without it. How could I? I don't know. Well, I'm carrying. I'm carrying it right now. So, <clears throat> and that's it. Doggo. Do no. Do. No, two. Dang it, doggo. Two. Uh, you probably need two. I don't think I'm time bound. I think it's just. Maybe there will be some time things in here. Okay. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know. What do I need to do? Oh, so I need to... Okay, yeah, that's that's what the bonus is for. Yay! Alright, sweet. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. It's Nike of the Barbars. Sweetness. Let's go. I have the watch. I want to see what it is. Pocket watch. Time was an important factor in soldiers' lives and military strategies for attacks. Rolling barrage barrages were used in tight chronological synchronicity. Tight. As tight as it could be <laughs> back in the day, because it was hard. That's actually one of the reasons why the telegraph was very revolutionary for a culture, because it would allow people to synchronize <coughs> trains, train tracks, and stations. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, there's a pocket watches were the only way to tell the time. Yes, if you watch 1917, you're gonna see that a lot. People are like trying to discuss <clears throat> not only what time of day it was, but what day it was. And if it was a weekend. Um, yeah. Oh, I need to. I need to dig. I need to dig. Can I flee this? It feels like it's impossible. That's fine. Oh yeah, this lady, she saves us. I believe she's French too. She's either French or um, British. Her name was Anna, a Belgian student. Oh, she's Belgian. Yikes. <laughs> she was hard on the trail of her missing father. For once, fate smiled on them. They were all going in the same direction. But while approaching Vimy, a German squadron spotted them. Vimy, the Battle of uh, Vimy Ridge was uh, it's a very famous thing in Canada. So, oh, 
Shoot. <laughs> yeah, so. That's cool. I like those segments. This is actually one of the segments that bugged me. Um, oh, shoot. Songs, man. Songs are amazing. So I have to I have to protect the car as well. There's a there's a number of hits that I can take. It's actually pretty difficult. Okay. 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 Next. I think did I outrun it? It's just like a little bit of a calm down before this storm. Just don't bug, man. Just, that's all I ask. Okay, oh, yikes. So those are mines. Ugh. Very classic game style. Things coming at you. And uh, you're just like dodging. Ah! That is... I don't know. I don't even have many comments to make on this. It's just... It's very basic format. And the song playing is amazing. The music... Oh, crap. Ah! Well, there we go. <laughs> it's a bit harder than I expected. Oh, it's daytime now. Was it daytime when I started it? I don't think it was. Um, so now... I think... Ah! No, it, it, it is day time. It was nighttime now, so it means that wow, they've been following us for a long time. Did you just get out of our trail, man? Like, I mean, it's been a long time to be fun. I think I'm done. Yeah, sweet, finished it. It was obviously a German Zeppelin, which apparently I didn't know it was invented by a German person. And I believe, oh, she's a she's she, she, they, they said that she was studying to be a doctor, so yeah, and uh, yeah, night of April. I think I'll just do this, try to get this next mission. Ah, of course. <laughs> But this is kind of like trench type of thing, right? Do I not have like a... Oh, maybe I have a... I can use a dog. Because the dog is actually German. <laughs> is it German Shepherd? Maybe? I don't know, but I picked it up. And I, I wish I could just... Because this is, this is a bomb, right? So I should be able to blow that, that up when the opportunity showed up to me. But anyway, I, I, that's not what I'm going to have to do right now. So... Shift... And explode. Oh yeah, so I kind of remember that he goes <coughs> out of his position and he comes back again. That's what the the, the picture is kind of showing us on the top corner over there. And that's kind of like trench war. Like everybody was always watching for the other one to make a move into no man's land, so they can shoot them dead. It's no mercy. It's just it's just awful. And that's it. Okay, so I got I got to hurry in order to save Freddy. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm now in German trenches. And if I'm not oh yikes. So yeah, I got I got to hide here. I remember this part a little bit. And I don't, I don't quite know whether I should go to the side or another. Yeah, I don't know. This came here, but I don't know if I need to be here. <coughs> That's so silly, right? This guy's like going back and forth like... <laughs> 
<laughs> this it's kind of silly. Can I destroy this? I cannot. But I'm pretty sure that this is where I have to go. And they'll be coming back soon. Can I go over there? Yeah, I can. I would. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's parts of the game is kind of like, oh, you gotta be careful, but at the same time, it's just like, yeah, they're not really doing much. They're just, I don't know, just pretty pointless at some points. So you can go here, don't go. Oh, the bar boy. Can I. Will I be able to cut it with uh, Freddy? Once he's, he's good again? Can I, can I go? Yeah, I can. Frick, 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 just hide, 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 okay, nice. Okay. And I can just be like right behind them, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Which is cool. I need help. Maybe I do. I screwed up. <laughs> I thoroughly thought the dog was following me, but yeah, the dog needs to pick something up from here. Yeah, so he picked it up, and now... Nope. Oh yeah, I need to cut the bar bar, like I see it. Although it's not a thing that's gonna stick with me for the rest of the game, I'm pretty sure. It's just like a one-time use or something. Maybe just for this sage or that. Um, can I pick it up? Oh, can I pick it up? Okay, okay. I cannot pick it up. Maybe the dog needs to do it. No, that's not possible. <sighs> can you go? Yes. Okay. Can I, can I use this now? Okay, nice. Good dog. Cool. <sighs> yeah, it just broke. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I just go down here. I wonder if... Can the dog just go for there? What? Is she? No, yeah, it's like... Probably the dog will have something to do from the other side. But not me. Yeah, oh yeah. That's that's essentially all that this was. Tap. The Labyrinth. Bemi Neve Saint Vast. Sounds like... It's probably... I don't even know, man. So those languages... Once it gets close to the border, they're so similar to each other. Um, the Germans were called quick to fortify. Or two positions. Now. Here they build a labyrinth, a complex network of trenches and tunnels connected to the underground sleeping quarters. Allied. I am having such a hard time with English right now. Allied armies unsuccessfully attempted to seize the, this key position on numerous occasions. Due to the huge number of casual, casualties in late 1915, the position was declared impregnable. That's intense. Yep, war of position, right? And... Oh yeah, so now I need to... Psst, wait until the guy gets out again. And that's how I move in this game. It doesn't stick around for too long, but it doesn't go away for too long. It's kind of like... Yeah. Oops. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> And I came out. Yay! Yeah, so all the trace to. Oh, wow. Can I help you? Oh, oh, I thought he didn't have legs, but just like, just way too tiny. <laughs> okay. Can I destroy this? Yes, I can. What's in here? Uh, oh, okay. What's that? It's probably like a medicine, right? Is it a nevrostenine? To combat problems of morale and physical fitness, army doctors sometimes distributed nevrostenine injections, a composite of magnesium and potassium. Potassium. Potassium? Potassium. Intended to give, a weary, give weary soldiers a heavy boost. Hardy boost. <sighs> it wasn't that difficult to be weary, right? Am I supposed to use this on him? No. It was just a collectible. I'm definitely supposed to use that though. What am I supposed to go for? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I have to 
Put the bombs in first. There's probably another one. Yeah, I need a second bomb. Can I? Uh. Woo! That's close. Does anybody have a bomb? Oh, maybe I need to pick it up with Dogo. Nope. Uh, yeah. Alt is not a good button for me because if I press Alt tab, I just change the window. Um, Dogo, can you see anything? Can you see a bomb lying around? He just goes over there, like this is not as, as far as he goes. Where is he supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? I don't want to use a hand. Hey, what? What? Maybe I'm supposed to use this now. What's yeah. happening over here? Um, no it isn't. I don't want to use a hand. Ugh, I'm going to try to do something right now, but anyway. Oh, what's happening? <gasps> oh my gosh, I thought it bugged. Okay, thanks for letting me know, Dogo. Okay, that's all I needed. Thanks he barked because I didn't see I didn't see that he could get over there. Nito, give me that. Yes, you would. Yes. Good boy. And now I have to go all the way over there again. Will I be able to make it? Yes I will. Takes why takes him quite a while to like actually stare. <laughs> Dog, get out of there. I'm gonna blow this thing up. Yes, okay. Now the, uh... Um, nobody came and... Well, okay. Something blew up. Uh, I guess it's normal in war. Nobody went to check. Cause... Uh, this part is cool. So, like, the guy's watching, but he's constantly watching. So I gotta, I gotta go here. And I just kind of, like, have to go behind that. Very ingenious. Nope. Gotta do go it out, right? Um, what? Oh, okay. Gotta dig. Yeah. I don't think I can just go there. Oh, I think I have to knock him out. So like, he's gonna be turning around, back and forth. Oh. <laughs> I thought I needed to knock him out. <laughs> That's not what I needed to do. Can I just go there and pick up the... I'm pretty sure I can't. <sighs> so it's been a while. I've been... I mean, I'm recording. I have no idea how long this episode is at this point. Um, I'll see. I bet I can do it. No, I can't. I need a key or something. Oh, I need to bring my dog down. That's what I need to do. just won't just drop down like I did. Ugh. Okay, let's try to figure it out. Calm down, dog. Okay, okay. Mm. I'm supposed to do this. <laughs> Can I, can I go over it? Yes, I can. Oh, there's something here. Yeah, pick it up. It's a postal card, po postal card, right? Letter from, oh, from a German soldier. I want to see that now. Dear Andrea, Andrea, well, why do I always say this wrong? Dear Andrea, we've been stuck down this hole since January and I can't stand it anymore. I'm sick to be back to, to be, to, I'm sick to the back teeth with living like a rat. I really miss life as he was before, strolling beneath the, li the linden trees with you. I even miss working in the factory. All my love, your 
detail. Factory, right? Like industrial revolution and stuff. I'm just reading about this now. Quite terrible, like, um, what those people need to do. And for him to miss the factory working, the completely inhumane conditions and inhumane treatment that they had, that's, that's war for you. It's worse than inhumane. Like, people are worth nothing in war. Nothing is worth anything in war. Just, people just want to get out of there. I'm not supposed to do this now. Um, okay. So, I guess I have to come back here. And whatever. So, he's still watching, I believe, so. Because there is still more barricades over here. Yeah, so I'm still ha I still have to be really silent. Yeah, so that's kind of what I need to do. I need to cause a distraction so this dude turns around. And... Bang. And... So, what am I supposed to do now? That wasn't... Oh, okay, I see. I see the door now. And this... Through this door, I can pick this up. And I'm pretty sure that there was... Uh, yeah, tuna. Is it tuna? Tuna of sardines. Close enough. Soldiers were all fed by their respective armies, but they also received parcels from back home to improve their daily lot. Tens of fish or pate gave them a more copious nutritional meal than their daily army fare. I can't believe humans actually did this, man. I would rather not have games. I would rather not have war games then. Oopsies. <laughs> I need to get my dog to be there first. Get in. And now he's gonna pick up the key for me, and um, we're gonna open up the thing with the medicine, and we'll see what happens from there. Right behind him. I, could, I should just knock him out. Like, I mean, come on. Nobody else is there. Just knock someone out. Oh. Okay. And. First, I think I'm going to do the one. And I'm going to do three. He doesn't even care about the dog like picking up the key. Seriously? Dog, give him the key. Nice. Okay. And I'm going to open this now. And there we are. What is this? I, I can't just break this. I probably should. Yeah. Okay. So, so big. <laughs> it's definitely they definitely made it like as a labyrinth. I probably need to go over there, but <sighs> I I thought I could get the uh, the medicine right now in this room, but it's just more labyrinth to go through. So I'm gonna have to do this um, next time. So we'll stop here. And thanks YouTube algorithm for keeping up with me. Um, I can always count on you to be watching my videos. So um, yeah, and if you're a human and you like this video, um, you can make sure to subscribe and press the like button and uh, press the bell so you can get notifications and stuff like that. But I don't know. That's that's how things are right now. And uh, I'll see you the next episode. This game's amazing. Go inform yourselves. War is bad. Technology is difficult, culture is insane, and uh, yep, yeah. see you next time. Bye.